throw a healthy pinch of salt in there. We've got our little spetzel maker. And uh, like I said, I've never used this, so we'll see. we're going to see how it works out. Uh, I'm not even sure what the best way to load this thing up is, so. It looks to me like you need a stiffer dough for it. No, that's not how spetzel goes, baby. Okay. We're just going to pour in here. If you'll scrape that down, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. And then you just kind of slide it back and forth. Well, it does work, look there. And what happens is, is the holes kind of cut it off, you know, as it's sliding. And then it will drop into the bottom of the pan. And little dumpling-like things. And little dumpling-like things. Exactly. You just need it reloaded? Yeah, let's just use the rest of it here. Probably would want to do this in batches, but, eh, we'll see. And uh, just want to stir them up a little bit. Wow, look at that. Oops, the onions. Huh? Oops. On the last onions. And you want to leave them in here. I mean, when they float, they're kind of done, but you want to give them time to cook. Uh, cook out a little bit. Um, and then we're going to take them out of here and we're going to cook them in a little bit of butter and onions. Mm, I think I might redo those though. So. so it'd be nice if you had one of those big wire things, you know, to like lift these out of here. Um, but, you know, they only take a, a couple of minutes or so in the water. They're done. You can also, uh, I had a friend whose aunt was German from Germany, Where and, uh, she just bought these in a box. I mean, you can find them already made, and I've had them. They're good. They're very good, but it's just not as fun. Um, the box ones, you just do the same thing. You just take them out dump them in here for like two minutes and then they're done. I'm use this. I got this and uh, you can actually just take them out of here, put them straight into a plate and eat them. That is one way to do it. Or uh, I like to kind of put them in a little butter and onions, which we have here, some nice caramelized onions. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm using this old spaghetti thing because we can't find our regular thing. You don't want to bring much water over with you, but you want to get them out, shake them off as good as you can. I'm sure this is working pretty well, funny enough. Uh, you could use broth. Since we're doing pork, you could use like a pork broth or even chicken broth would be just fine. Um, But water works pretty well with them too. Salted. Salted water, yeah. You do want to at least put a little bit of salt in there. Wow, that looks really good. Are the pork chops in a happy way? They're getting there. Should be pretty close. I actually cut the recipe that I normally use in half. Um, kind of changed this one around. It's got asked for like six cups of flour. We use two. Um, six eggs. We use two eggs. Um, yeah. Alright, the rest of you guys are going to stay in there. How are the pork chops? They're coming right along. 
Speaking of which. <laughs> Is that your way? Yeah. I got a good knob of butter in here. Um, caramelized onions. Just really kind of kind of help out the flavor. I had this way at a. a in those German festivals once and I've done it ever since that way. I've never used onions in them before or cooked them off like this but I saw them doing it and they were yummy so there we are. You're not looking to brown them here or anything, you just kind of want to get them nicely coated in the butter and get the onions evenly distributed through them out. A um, little salt. I'm going to add a little bit of salt here, because Tina said so. These are pretty happy. Um, See how our pork chops are doing. They sound like they're pretty happy. They look really darn yummy. So considering that we're playing with pork here, we're gonna look. I know this is a major sin, but yeah, it was good. So there you have it. Um, Spetzel pork chops. Uh, it's very easy to do. No fancy gadgets. If you don't have one of those pencil makers, the way I've always done it is just with a teaspoon. Um, just like, not like one of those fancy fancy ones, but like the teaspoon you just pull out of your drawer. And you just put them in by little quarter half teaspoonfuls and uh, it takes a little bit longer but um, I've never had one of those machines and I've just never bought one so it's just what I've always used uh, but the machine kind of helped I mean that took what usually takes me 20 minutes 10 20 minutes to do uh, in just a few minutes so um, there you go we're gonna go eat now uh, hope you like the show and hope you give it a try